Let's just talk about it. Been dropping for years, won't never catch me in a slum. Since fast lane music, I've been real running like I'm on a run. What you doing a year? I can do in a couple of weeks and maybe some months. Got a beast with illusion, don't get him in tune. You swear I'm just keeping it blunt. Get you some paper, put that shit up and say go. Hey, yo, man, it's your big guitar baller. Baller Brothers, the movement. You already know what it is. Oh, nah, it's the big Nazi. We here. It's your man, V-Long, Mel, you already know. Oh, man. Yes, sir. I'm the top baller, our Nas, V-Long, Mel. Feel me? I start off with my interviews with my father's appreciation. Top baller, uh, our Nas, we go way back. Feel me? Um, I know we did an interview two years ago. Our Nas, we did an interview a year ago. V-Long, Mel, we from the same block. Feel me? It just feels good to... He with three talents of artists, for me trying to put it on for the city. Uh, not average Bronx rappers, as Top Ball would like to say. Uh, feel, feels good to be no, with y'all. No. Uh, for me get the conversation started. Let's talk about Sorry. it, man. Let's talk, to Let's talk, talk about to it. Me. Talk to me. Let's talk to me. All right, we're going to get straight into it. At the time of this recording, um, for me, everybody knows who yesterday was. For me, what was, what was about Valentine's Day? How was your, how was your Valentine's Day yesterday? What do you want to get to? I'm not going to lie. I was making. <laughs> Man, DTV for life. That's what he was in. Yeah, I was, I was, getting, I was getting to the money. I got paid, so for me, the deposit hit me on Valentine's Day. So that was m- money. money. Man, fuck Valentine's Day. This nigga hit. I'm, ba- I'm back in that mode. We back in that's, that mode. That's how he feel. Just fuck bitches, get money. We back in that mode. Get to the money, and that's a fact, though. Out of pocket, you know. Um, bad, bad. So yeah, like I said, um, Show. Todd, for me, we last time we spoke was over two years ago. Mm-hmm. Nas, last time we spoke was over a year ago. Uh, what's been new since our last conversation? For me, what's uh, what's popping off? For me, what's different? What's good? What's bad? What's been new since our last conversation? Um, what's bad? I ain't gonna lie, it's been um. It's, it's been a journey. I tell you that much. For me, the last time that we spoke was definitely a year ago. I guess that same night, I dropped the album. For me, my first album, it was. Party, right? For me, it was perfect for me. So that was definitely an experience that uh, I was just like ecstatic for. So when it happened, it was just like, all right, boom, we here. Let's see what the numbers going to hit for. Let's see, let's see what happens. And then a year later, I'm just like, damn, like that really happened. And I ain't ever expect myself to go in that path of doing a drill album or even just doing an album. Period. I just, I, I'm so inconsistent with myself half of the time. It's just like, ah, right, you really got to do it. So when it happened, I was just. Ecstatic, but now it's just for me. We got some, we got, we got new shit on the way for me. But um, I ain't gonna really speak too much into it right now. But definitely got some shit on the way. Twenty twenty four gonna be a different one. It's gonna be a different one for sure. To be honest, man, I ain't gonna lie. Two years, drop what like three tapes? Word. Heavy. That was heavy. I feel like to sum it up. My life damn near been like in like fast motion. That's why I put out the last album, Fast Lane Music. It was more like everything I was going through was like time going by quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm just realizing it. I'm like, damn, like I gotta get certain shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not where I want to be, but I'm definitely farther than I ever been. Like I know that for sure. So that was a bar. That was a bar. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It's just it, it's been it's been amazing since we. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like. It's definitely God's work. It's definitely um, a full circle that we get to do this again on a bigger platform now, um, growing, uh, evolving, and all in both our own fields. It's, it's amazing to see. So I'm proud of you, uh, even for giving us this opportunity again and again and again and again for each and every one of them. We got to do Mel, uh, his solo one too. We got to get him right on his catalog and and and. Showing him out to the people, so I'm excited for that. I appreciate you and Ray too. Ray here too. Don't forget about Ray. Yeah, don't forget. We, just, we just got the new signee. Uh, we putting this on blast right now as of today. Well, the got the new signee of D Ray. Yeah, new edition. Yeah, yeah. New edition. That's that's super 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 big for that. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna throw that in the air. We, we right gonna now. talk about that. We gonna talk about that. I feel like this has been a good start to the year for the other journey. This is my first interview of the year. First interview since October. I think Let's clap right. it up, man. We love that. We love that shit. It's only right. But Mel, for me, um, welcome to your 2023. And uh, what should we expect for you from 2024? Man, I got some shit cooking up. I'm not going to lie. I got to get back into it. I really haven't been into it. But the reason I haven't been into it for real, I'm trying to keep my shit genuine. I ain't really trying to cap in my rap. I'm trying to have, like, Good music. I'm not just trying to put out no bullshit for me. So 
I'm definitely gonna have some shit cooking up. I'm gonna definitely be in the stool more. Feel me? Yeah. 2023. You was talking about 2023 too, right? I didn't been through my tri- trials and tribulations in 2023. I'm not gonna lie. Shit done. A lot of shit done happening in 2023. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, I think last year you you got the 25k streams, Spotify streams on uh, August 28th, Volume Three. Yes, sir. Talk to me about tell me um, looking back at that project and being able to achieve that accomplishment. How that felt? For you? Um, to be honest, that project was amazing. That project um, kind of damn near was my therapy. Uh, after the pandemic, it was more like I got to say a lot of shit that. I felt on a daily basis, but never really got out. Even, even to my even to my homeboys, it was more like deep. It was more like childhood. It was more like, all right, where can I take this within the music and have it relatable, have it so resonated with the people without a doubt what I'm saying. Like, I ain't got to be on the drill shit. I ain't got to be on what's now. I can be on some shit that's saucy and that still sound like the Bronx, still sound like the X, still sound like I'm from. Like, then they where I'm from. You know what I mean? And when I made that project, that project was... Project is bittersweet, man. I talked, I touched on a lot of things. I feel like the average rapper, uh, or the not average rapper of, of of being in the city of New York would talk about. Um, especially with my group, we all talk about different shit. We all talk about our lifestyle and put it in ways where it's relatable, no matter what. Um, whether it's you know braggadocious, whether it's conceptual, whether it's melodic and R and B and slow, we we definitely put it put the pen to the pad and definitely be on our artistry shit. So I'm proud of that. Um, that's what really, like, that whole project was amazing, man. And not even that, even getting the whole, uh, shout out to Cody Shane from Atlanta. She, uh, had, like, a big cosign on that, bro. And, um, that, that, like, her own side of the fans, you know, just, inf- like, influenced that tape a little more. So, I was, I was proud of it. I didn't really care about the numbers. I, that, that made me more, um, motivated just to go hard. I did nothing but... I did perform at a girl's birthday party. Um, I started doing performances with Mo. Shout out Mo Dilla from uh, from Underground Life. Uh, shout out them on the gram. But they did a lot for me uh, those early 2022 days. Uh, show up in there in Brooklyn. Um, and yeah, man, it, it was just the growth. It was just... Um, I mean, I even shit talking. done. <laughs> shit, shit done. Is done. done. <laughs> I'm just talking. They always, they always catch me like that. I, be, I, just be, I just be talking, man. But... For real though, like the the project was amazing, and um, I was just proud of it all of how it came all together, the, the visuals, me even traveling out to um out to AZ and uh, getting the actual like footage of bro. Me and him was on a song on underrated. We did that like 2019. Shout out JQ, shout out them Fever Boy, Fever Humble Boys and AZ, uh, Marcus Alex and them Lil Turk. All of them niggas is hard. All of them niggas is that Southwest shit, that Southwest sound. I want to bring that here. That's what okay. I want to influence on our side. It's like we we getting there touching bases and collaborating with people all over the world. We ain't just doing no local New York shit. We ain't coming in here trying to get a one hit and just I run with that persona. We all fucking superstars in our own way. So right. the project was amazing, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I mean, I love how you called it as like a therapy session for you. I mean, I know I, I told you that I really enjoyed the project. Deep Depression is a song that stood out for me. Mm-hmm. And I love how you mentioned that for me, it led to a bunch of different opportunities. For me, with shows, for me, uh, being connected with new people, being able to fly all the way to Arizona. Um, I feel like, for me, I know yesterday, I, I think it was yesterday, I know you posted on your page yesterday, you had a little performance, mm-hmm. Monster Lab Entertainment. I want to ask now, like, me, you was front row, for me, in, like, for, like, a uh, life for the party, for me, you was supporting you, bro, like, oh, he talks to me, like, what was the vibe, like, at that monster that performance um, for Todd. What was the vibe like in the, in, in the spot? <laughs> That's the answer right there. I ain't gonna lie. The reaction on my face. Did you see that man in the video? That he, man grabbed him. He got no money. Say Kobe, we doing it big in 2024. I'm on so OD. Yeah, I've been feeling they give us a move. My mentality. Crying on the top, crying on the show. I grew up. The money. <laughs> that was the money. But, um, like, nah, in all honesty, to, to like, from where I met him at, the first time us linking up, getting inside the studio, even tapping in with this music shit, or just even talking on some regular heart-to-heart shit. To see him perform at that level was 
was damn near shocking as hell. Just to see him at his first time where he was, I'm just like, nah, he would never even get in tune with that type of music or even like, you know, trying to like ease into that lane. But he did and he kept yeah. going with it. And it's just like, even if it was a, a R&B type of vibe, like every type of vibe, he just tapped in. And for some odd reason, you would think that he's been doing it for years. And he kept going on that, on many different levels. So to see him perform that shit, that shit is ridiculous to me. And I ain't going to lie for me. Like you said, I, I support bro all the time. But for me, I be in. It's like going back to the stool. Like he recorded it all over again. So it's like when you see a nigga make a song, it's like, damn, I just watched that nigga make that shit. So to see him perform it again and it still feel the same, we got one. That's, That's how I look at it. We That's got awesome. one. We got you. one. We got one. That shit is that shit is a vibe. You know me, cool. For me, love you, buddy. Love you too, gang. That performance was dope. The energy in there was dope. Uh, shout out Kenny. Shout you need out. a light. <laughs> you need a light. You need a lighter. You need Just a light. five minute light. Something. Shout out. Uh, shout out Kenny. Shout out Monster Lab. Uh, we was in there in uh, in Bushwick in Brooklyn. And um, the vibe was amazing. Uh, Brooklyn don't got it for the delis. For the delis. Yeah, they don't. I'm sorry. We're sorry. I'm sorry. BX we're we're staying in this now. We're staying in this now. The Bronx has the best. Bronx got the best food. Delis, I'm joking. Yeah. Brooklyn yeah. Delis just best don't. I'm sorry. Just I'm not going to lie. Other boroughs, somewhere. other boroughs got more options, but we got the best The best yeah. food. No cap. The best ox. Yeah, we're best, ox. best ox. We're the bro. <laughs> you went to an ox store, so heavy on the best ox in the Bronx. <laughs> but, um, nah, the, nah, yeah, the performance was amazing. Um, the energy in there was, was dope. Dope artists. Uh, shout out Zoe. Shout out uh, Rose. Um, shout out Ray McLovin. Shout out a lot of artists that I had noticed. Um, I just want to show love to. That's Hold just on, me. Shout out Shavi. Yo. Oh yeah. Shout out. Shout no way. We, we was going to get to talk about that. I ain't. I ain't want to the cat out the bag. But it's cool. You know. I said we so could we talk, talk about, about whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about whatever. Nigga said we could talk about. I bet. So and and def, uh, first and foremost, shout out to Shavi. Um, a lot of dope artists is there that night, uh, and just the energy with my brothers, uh, we all coming in as a group, as a unit, as I like it, connecting with Rose and his movement. He brought his men, uh, his cameraman with him. I got my cameraman. I'm doing a video in motion. It's like, damn, near, I got to, like, damn, near, I don't want to tell the secret, but fuck it. I got two videos on the way, um, and I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just in that mode again. I'm just stacking up. I'm just trying to give out content, I'm just trying to just push, 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 push through, push through, push through, perform, go crazy, turn up, and just, you know, make a name for myself, keep going. Cause I always got to reintroduce myself, so I feel like when I did the performance, it was just that. Like, I, I told Rob that night, he was like, yo, what's the vibe? I'm like, this, this, this pre-warm-ups, like, this, we talking about practice? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this, this little, you know, little groins, you know what I'm saying, might might have to do a little suicides, but it ain't nothing Couple to it. lunges or with whatever. With the next... You know, and I got another performance on the seventeenth. So we just, you know, what I'm saying I got an interview with the hood journals. Like, come on now. Like, like I said, it's um, a stack year. It's a stack, stack year. year. So we, just, I'm just, I'm with my team. We doing it as this big, and we pushing it through. And yeah, as y'all can see, it's gonna be crazy this year. 2024 gonna be crazy. That's what that performance is like. 2024. 2024 on the way too. No, it hit different. You get a Bowler Brothers interview, right? Yeah, word. That's a fact. No, for me, it also hit different when film you could drop a project based off of your horoscope, like Virgo. You feel me? Um, has been a nasty little bit over. tape. <laughs> nasty <laughs> tape on <laughs> you, on you drip. <laughs> Shit. Nasty on deluxe. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. V2? TP? V2? TP? V2? 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 Oh, hold on. Hold on. Did we just get that? Yeah, TP? <laughs> V2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, gonna, we, gonna, we gonna tap in. We can't, we can't give over information that we just made up. You feel me? No. But V2? All right, copy. You really a Virgo? Yeah, I'm a Virgo. What's your, what's the, what, what day? 16th. Uh, Upset. Ooh! All right, copy. Yo, I'm gonna answer the I question. We're gonna tap it was, in. It was, it was written in stone. It was written in stone. I'm, I told y'all, I like him. I fuck with y'all though. <laughs> Gemini's up, you were. That's all I gotta say. Nas, um, for me, it's been a, it's been over a year um since you dropped the project. Did talk to me about I mean the promo run you have for the project. I understand that you had a lot of performance. Um, for me, uh, dedicated to one of the songs for the project. And um, looking back, uh, how do you feel like the the, the project did? How do you think? How do you feel like you performed? Yo, to keep it 
to keep it all the way a buck, I just had this conversation with Tom probably like I want to say a month ago, and I said that after math, I said I should have never did it, and that it did is it did what it was supposed to do though the, for me. The numbers ran up. I looked at it and I was I said wow. I, I even in certain songs I was like nah. I feel like that's gonna be my top song. It wasn't even my top song until probably like a couple of weeks and then a month, and it started switching around. So I was just like nah, like. You did that, but it was never it was never a lane that I wanted to get into. I felt like I executed. For me, I listened to other drill albums, tapes, songs, and I bopped those shits. But like I said in one of my songs, that shit is hot garbage. <laughs> for me, <laughs> Bruh, I, re- I respect everybody that do, do what they drill. do, but for me, I was trying to like do what I do on any other song and just push it to a different lane, and I feel like I did what I did, and like I said, I feel like I executed it most than other people, but I I never wanted to in the first place. I always wanted to show my pen, and I feel like that's probably been my biggest issue. Always want to do a pen. Song could be a, like a love song. I'm trying to write the craziest balls inside of a love song, but that's that's just me, though. So, mm-hmm. um, And the tape that I was supposed to drop, instead of doing Virgo, I would, my mind would have been at ease, most definitely, at like the whole process. Like, even writing it, I would have been like, nah, this is... This is going to be something. Getting in the studio, I'd have been like, all right, I'm about to finish this one take 30 minutes. This is not even about to take an hour. But doing the drill, it was fun. It was fun. I ain't even going to lie. It was fun. I, I definitely, shout out to my son, Gav Lavish. Most definitely. He from the, Gav. Shout out to my boy, Gav. He from the hood. So um, we tapped in. And he wasn't even, the song that he was on, Bag On Me, he wasn't even supposed to be on that. That's that's the crazy part. I, I literally wrote a whole entire verse for that whole entire song, one and two. And then... I had another man from my hood. He's also a Virgo. So I was like, nah, I need him on the tape more than anything. But Gav just happened to pop out that day, whatever the case may be. And we got that done. But it, it did what it was supposed to do. That's how I look at it. But the aftermath was just like, I wanted to do something else. But I'm, for me, I'm glad I did it. I'm not glad I did it. For me, it's, it's crazy because I'm not surprised to hear you say that because I, I was listening and I listened to it a couple months ago for me. Like, I feel like for what the vibes was and the towns at that time with the drill scene, okay, it did it, it played its part there. But I but I do I do hear what you're saying in terms of like I don't feel like you was fully comfortable with the sound. I feel like it reflected into the music. I feel like there's definitely another level you could have reached. And feel me, I understand what you were doing at the moment, but feel me, I feel like it left a lot to be desired. This is me to be transparent with you. Um, definitely. I do appreciate you mm-hmm. um, sharing that. With that said, I think you pick into this next question I'm about to ask, but what can you learn from that project that you could apply to the next one? Probably a, the Virgo Volume 2 mm-hmm. or another series. What can you learn from the last project you could apply to that one? Um, most definitely something on delivery, like you said. And I'm glad that you even said that because it was fun, but at the same time, it wasn't comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? I was most definitely trying to, like, I guess, you know, trying to throw your own sauce on, on, a, on a lane that's already, like, used by so many people is like if you don't if you don't sound like at least this person and that person that's blowing up or whatever the case may be then you you didn't kind of like fit the the criteria of a drill album or whatever the case may be but i listen to that shit my people was telling me about it and i just feel like you know i i, I did what i wanted to do not what i was supposed to do you get what i'm trying to say like for me and and like i said i definitely i commend you on saying that because that's how i felt uncomfortable but it was but it was fun to be uncomfortable i guess but um anything going forward like i said mostly on just delivery like i said anything that i want to do i want to feel comfortable doing it writing it performing it doing it in the studio so anything that i do next is is just more so on stop worrying about everything else that's around you like get into your element tap in and like for me do what you do Everything, like all the opinions and thinking and questions is going to come afterwards. Before we switch gears, um, I, I got an important question to ask you. Why should people shop with Clive Thomas Apparel? Man. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Support the Gaza, oh, man. Uh-oh. I got it. Wait, uh-oh. I, I can't. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> come on now. All right, just look. So, Watch out real quick. Watch out. Or just, just. Bro, this nigga ain't got me a hoodie, bro. He's done, bro. Oh, yeah. You see that? You see that thing on the TV? So. (laughs) Man. Talk about it. My my 2024 or just like the ending of 2023, like without the music has literally been unlocking so many things. I want to do so many things. And I, I feel like once I started my brand, I unlocked a whole different thing to my brand. Like, or even to my mind to just be like, nah, you can go far with this. And it don't even have to be for just you. 
So man, my shit is authentic. <laughs> for me, I'm, like everything, like every, and I do all of this shit myself. You get what I'm trying to say? Like when I come up with these ideas for me, at first it wasn't even supposed to be like a self-titled thing. But I just thought about it. Like there's a lot of people, a lot of brands that we wear, we buy, whatever the case may be. And those are people's names, first names, middle names, last names for me. Nobody know my government, but I'm letting it be known now for me. So cop up on the CT is the CTUA. Remain humble, focus up. That is literally my motto for the rest of my life. For me, you lose to gain, but you gain to lose. But at the end of the day, you forever prosper. Remain humble and focus up. So that's Amen. I want I want everybody to for me just drill that motto into your head because. Life, life, life is different. Life That's is going, the mind. Life is gonna knock you That's down. And, and the crazy part about it, a year yeah. ago when I had an interview with you, gang, I said that man, like I, I told people to bear with me when it comes down to this music, because life really put obstacles in front of you, and it's just like, it's either you gonna let them niggas bury you, or you gonna keep pushing through that shit. So mm-hmm. remain humble and, and focus up. For me. So CT for me apparel on cop, Instagram. Go cop, cop it the fuck up. I mean. Fast Lane Music. Um, yeah. dropped it in November tie. All right, let's start off with the name. Why the name Fast Lane Music? The feel of the project, like, you know, because shout out to V-Lone Mel. Uh, my yeah. boy is definitely sturdy on the road. Definitely cutting it up all throughout New York City highways and everything. Oh, if, you know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Nah, but I, I, I got to give respect to this dude because... Nah, he's wild. <laughs> like, 90 on the way. Like I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Why should I keep yo, his speed listen, limit? Listen, at least listen, 10 listen. over. At least 10. Talk about what Dirk said. <laughs> everything is... Uh, nah, <laughs> disclaimer. Nah, all of this is not real. You hear me trying to say? So I don't know about 90 on the 65, but you know... Well, what I'm saying is, I I got, I got a lot of homeboys that's um. Gang. Oh, I don't know. You tap me like I knew how to drive home for me. Back, back for me. <laughs> Yo, a, a lot of homeboys I know that um that down there is into this driving shit. As like I down there, you know, I drive myself, but it's just I I, I down there took it from the essence of like my life is moving fast. So let me put that in the concept of what I'm liking, and I I've been taking a liking to the essence of driving, and the essence of fast motion and, and and being in the driver's seat, having that control and, and going fast. and You know what I'm saying? Like, the fast lane music was for a feel of, like, when you put this shit on from 1 to 12, it give you a feel like, yo, wherever you got to go to, you got to get to work, I right, I'm throwing that fast lane music on. Like, I'm getting there super quick. We don't miss, still sending, want it all with Velo and Mel and Marcus. Fucking, what else? I'm going in, like, it was a bunch of shit. Even on the drill side, cold blooded too. I was I mean, storytelling. A lot of essence. I, I didn't. I didn't want to keep all the same. So, um, that whole tape was just. I call it fast name music because it's literally every song go from the, the first intro start from a hundred, one twenty, one four. Like it worked its way up, and this shit hit two hundred on the dash by the damn near still sending. It repeat itself on the drill side. That's why I did it side A and side B. One side trap and one side eight oh eight. So it's just like I tapped in. Like I, I feel I, I still feel like I kept it New York, but I just down there wanted to explore to my other side, travel out, get that feature from Marcus down there, A Z, that's Southwest Mellow. Mel. And fucking um you know, get, get on the side of like more hype and trap beats. I feel like when I started uh my first song on all platforms coming out with LBJ X Throwaway, that song, that feel kinda gave that essence of these songs, but just high energy. Like, that's what I've been on lately. It's just like, forget what I'm going through in life. Let me put this in the music. Let me get high energy. Let me, let me hopefully, like, embrace the people through my music throughout me putting on this persona of each take. Because each take is, like, conceptual. Each tape is, is on some, I, I play a, a role in my life where I'm just giving it to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Straight. Like, I ain't, I ain't holding back, really. No, for sure. Um, I got a second that, but, like, the energy was there, but it's not like you're like dominating. Like you're working with the beat, you're doing what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. And the last thing that I took out here, like a Travis Scott influence, which I heard that in this project, which mm-hmm. is like a mainstream um, sound. But I gotta ask you, Mel, this next question, I, got, I do got a bone to pick with you. Mm-hmm. Out of pocket, right? Now let me ask you, what's more out of pocket? People pocket watching or someone else's girl being with China Spot? Like, you told me, <laughs> like, that was crazy. Because like, how you gonna say people was out of pocket? And you got somebody else girl in the spot. <laughs> That's crazy. So, Mel, let me ask you. What the? Wait, hold on. 
<laughs> this is this is no this is T. What? You said someone else's girl is called A and all people probably watching now they got a problem. He, he know what you're talking know, about. He know. Oh. No, no, let me ask you. You know what you're talking no, about. Let me ask you. What's more out of pocket? Bro. Bitches being in the spot be regular, Thank bro. You, that's what I was thinking. Not even going to lie, bro. That should be regular. <laughs> Niggas pocket watching is crazy, though. I'm not right. going to hold you. Right? That's how, that's how, that's how oh, I my money in the bank. What the fuck is you talking bank. about? I, money in the tab, bank. Apple Pay. That's why, it's, that's why yeah, it's so out of pocket. Job. It's just like... I keep cash game. Uh-uh. Keep cash game. Yeah, she I'm took me for you. the team. I'm only being modest. Like, I'm only being Who? Who? <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> hey, who you talking about, gang? TP? Tough. Yeah. If you know, you know. Tough. Oh, you keeping it P? Keeping it P. Uh, uh, I thought you was airing it out. What's good? Keeping it P. I said we could talk about whatever. Air it out. Say what you got to say. Who's she? Who took one <laughs> nah, for the nah, team? Nah, 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 nah. Doing the hook on that track. And running on that track with time. <laughs> I mean, me and Todd did a... Me, I mean, me and Todd did a couple tracks already, bro. I mean, I feel like just me and Todd Essence just fit well together, bro. Like, we just... I don't know, bro. Like every track dump in a banger we've been on, yeah, like, yeah. feel me? Um My brother. One of those was lit, bro. I made I made that shit in like fifteen minutes, bro. I was just like freestyling on it, feel me? And it just it just came to what it is, bro. That shit gotta that shit gotta get some more plays though. Y'all playing on that. That shit is fire. Keep streaming the album. Where the bro? Keep streaming the album. It is? Oh where? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, let's get it. But we need some more. What y'all doing, bro? Yeah, Come on. Sure. One of those definitely top on the album. Uh, with others, um, it's streaming well. It's pretty streaming pretty well. I I just feel like now what, what I'm doing is pushing it throughout this year. I didn't. I I told myself I ain't dropping the tape this year. This year is all about pushing the album, merch, uh, damn near business. Damn near definitely business. gonna get to it this year. Um, Whatever. Just investing more. And strategically dropping. Ain't no more of that just dropping for the heck of it or word of mouth, yo, link in bio, is this and that. Like, nah, we stamping it with things and this and that, touching the people. We going out on 2nd Street, having people in tune. We doing shit. We, we, we now touching the people. We ain't doing none of that cyber shit no more. Even though that's cool, that's going to play a part in, in, in the foundation, the fan base, because they're going to come back and they're going to tune in, but we got to go get them. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta create something. We got to spark nah, definitely. City. We definitely got to be seen. We definitely got to be seen. seen. Cause that, we that, definitely, that's what it is. That's what we're missing. I'm not going to lie. I feel like out of everybody out of New York City, there's definitely a couple. There's definitely a couple people that's nice. Shout out Richie. Shout out Dion. People that's melodic like us, feel me? They're, they're, but from like right now, there's a lot of drill, bro. And I feel like we just different from that. Mm-hmm. Bro, like we, we about all, to, we we about to have New York City in a chokehold. I'm going to tell you that much. Like I said, 2024 is really a stacked year. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, we really about to have New York City in the chokehold. And uh, and me, I don't even really care about numbers. I never really cared about numbers, but since that's the biggest factor in music today, and I feel like um, individually or all, all together, regardless how you want to put it, we up there. So, like I said, this year we about to have y'all in the chokehold, respectfully. I think that's what everybody was trying to say. It's, it's, about, to, it's about to be one of those years. Without a doubt. Definitely second what y'all saying for me. Like this year is y'all year for me. I doing shit out of do. Right. For me, I also want to know that. Um. So I guess this answers my next question. That the vibes for this year for me. Um. I know you're a big Kobe fan. Twenty twenty four. Mm-hmm. You turned twenty four this year, golden year. Mm-hmm. So what's the vibes uh, for me? You just answered, but like with all that in the back of your mind, what's like what's what's the vibes for this year and beyond? Um. Well, twenty twenty four on the way, March first. Um. The vibe for that, like Kobe said, job not finished. Job finished. <laughs> job don't look finished to me. Still working. That's how I look at Definitely it. Not job, yeah, job not finished. finished. I only got two chains on. <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't even, it ain't even about that. It's just like, like Kobe said, job not finished. We are, we are 3-1, but it ain't over. So that's really it, man. Twenty twenty four gonna be an amazing year. Um, even from the start of this, we we already, you know, what I'm saying we all about action. So this is really just the this this press week. This is this is press week. I ain't even gonna lie. This is press week. I mean, we got a what another show on the seventeenth. 
Then after that, and that's so when we'll get Liddy. Yeah, and that's, that's this weekend. Crazy. Nah, that's two days from now. Two days from oh, nah. <laughs> two days from now. That's gonna go crazy. Let me shift on topics a little bit. Um, just warning from gonna get a little bit personal. Before I ask this question, and this is just so I don't get my own facts uh, misconstrued. Now I was going for your page. Um, you don't gotta answer this, but like just on um, this question, I think is it is your mom still with you? Right. So for me, um, one similarity I see with all y'all, y'all all. Have lost somebody really close to y'all. Uh, Nas, you lost your close friend Lonnie. Uh, Ty, you lost your grandfather and your father. R.I.P. to them. R.I.P. Don't live. R.I.P. Don't live. Um, with that said, for me, um, have you guys ever spoke about for me the losses that y'all all been through? For me, have y'all been able to lean on each other, going through those tough moments? For me, I, I've lost some people in my life, but nobody as close. Like, for me, I mean, not to compare, but have y'all been able to like lean on each other? Mm. Nah, that's a fact. I mean, at least with my at least with my son Ty, feel me. I always talk to my son Ty about it because he was there with me, feel me. Probably out of all my friends right now, he was there with me, like with my moms. He remember my moms mm-hmm. and all that. So I definitely done had conversations with bro. But like, I don't really like to talk about it. So it's like it's kind of my fault that I don't speak about it. So yeah, bro, it's something, it's something like close to me, feel me. Yeah. For sure. Talk, I know in the last interview, one thing that you said that stood out to me was that death doesn't define you, mm-hmm. right? But I do have a follow-up question on that. Do you um, answer however you feel? Does time heal wounds? Yeah, it does. Um, shit, it's time healing my wound right now. Put it like that. Like, everything I've been through, everything uh, of just time passing and feeling like the odds was against me or I should do this different. Just always kept it humble. Always prayed. Always stayed. Always stayed true to God first, and um, really kept my brothers close with me. I, I ain't never, yo. I want to step on that right now. These motherfuckers ain't. This ain't no bias because they my brothers. This ain't no look like uh. These niggas, like just human beings alone, is the most talented motherfuckers I know, and never in one like moment of doubt. Throughout even they come up, throughout even they try and throughout even they, because, you know what I'm saying, we all kind of started from nothing. So it's like we turning it into something. You know what I mean? So it's like, I ain't never for a split second doubt these niggas. <laughs> so these niggas who I'm with, we coming. Um, no, I noticed that from uh, when, I asked, when I asked the question, you were shaking your head. From, uh, um, I mean, me personally, I feel like um, wounds never heal. They just turn into scars, and it's how you treat the scar. Mm-hmm. Feel me? It's how you make it heal, bro. You can't just expect to keep it in and everything's going to heal. Feel me? You got to gotta talk about it. You got to try to, like, do something to get over it. Feel me? But you never get over it, but just something to, like, make you not think about it. Feel me? Something mm-hmm. like that, bro. But I feel like wounds never heal, bro. They just turn into scars. Sure. Nah, it's um, I feel I'm, I'm leaning on what, what Mel said to keep it a buck with you. Feel me? They will turn into scars. I feel like it's something that you got to accept long down the road. I feel like I don't even want to say depending on the person. I've, I've I've done felt, I've had scars and felt that over people that I probably right. never even had too many conversations with for real. And it's just like, that shit, that shit going to be stuck on your conscious for me. So like he said, them shits will turn into scars, but down the road, you got to, you got to accept that. Cause if you don't, it, no, that's a fact. Them joints could those those wounds could bleed forever. That's how that's how you treat them. That's a yeah, fact. It's definitely how you treat them because it them. is a scar for me. But if if you don't pay no mind to it, if you really don't talk about it, at least to the right people, you just don't talk mm-hmm. to everybody about for me just certain things. But if you don't, for me that wound could bleed forever, and for me you could be on the other side of that because you can't accept that. For me, I don't had conversations with people with certain things they lost somebody and they just. Mm-hmm. Couldn't take it, and they want to be where they at. See me, mm-hmm. so talk about it. I, and I, and for me, I, I felt that. So at the end of the day, the fact that I'm able to sit here and even talk about that, that just goes to show you that for me, like Mel says, how you treat them shits. Uh, 
are doing everything they told me by pushing through life and never giving up. That's what I would just say. It's like things gonna hit you no matter what. You gotta stand tall. You gotta stay on your P's and Q's. You got you gotta just and you gotta just be prepared. You can't never think something not gonna go wrong. Like not even to have that type of way of thinking, but it is what it is. It's a a crazy world. Everybody, bro. bro, everybody struggling, bro. Shit happen, bro. Life happen, bro. Shit gonna hit you out of nowhere, bro. It's how you get back from it, bro. It's how you pick back from it. Word two. Gotta, shit gonna happen You just gotta get through it You gotta remain humble And focus remain up humble Like that's, focus up. That's, that's really what it is I ain't say that for no reason And I'm, I'm glad that we Kind of talking about this topic Cause that was the first thing That I wanted to talk about When we had our interview Cause that that, that question Still touches me to this day The ment- mental health man your, your mental Take care of that And and that goes for everybody They, they, they lean it a lot Like the media leans it on On men a lot Cause we just we we not emotional. We don't like to talk so on and so forth. Let me tell you something. In the past couple of months, you know, we just made it to twenty twenty four. So the fact that I'm saying in a couple of months, man, I cried. Let me tell you, I shed tears, bro, and that and and it. I don't like to cry. I feel like being emotional is all of that. Don't mean nothing. You gotta face reality for what it is. You can have your feelings and your emotions and your opinions all you want. Just face reality for what it is. But me, I'm gonna shed a tear if I want to. I hear that shit. So. And your mental man, take take care of that. Talk to people. I for me, I talk to all types of people and I, I don't even want to talk to nobody. They'd be like, yo, go see a therapist. Ah uh-uh, nah. I know I know what I'm going through. I gotta accept it. I'm my own therapist. But then I, I give people advice that that person gave me. So it's like oh, man, bro. You gotta Get through it, gang. You gotta, you gotta, get, gotta, through get, through it. get through it, You, you gotta get through it. Bro, life gonna keep on pushing, bro. That, that's, what it, get that is, that's what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to be easy for you. You can have not. five great days in a row, and then for the next two months, you could be down and out. It's, it all it. it starts off with you. Mm-hmm. Regardless of who's involved in your situation, it starts off with you. Nothing can't happen. No motion. No movement. No nothing. No movement. Can't bro, happen. take risk, bro. It's if it, if it don't start off with you. You got to take some risk too, bro. It take risk too. And, you, and most definitely, you got to take risk because that's to me that's the light at the end of the tunnel, bro. Right. Because yeah, it's really what you want. Obviously, it's something great. There goes your light, but you gotta you gotta take that risk to see if it's really on the other bro, side or not. Where we come from, they don't play fair, bro. Like. From the hood, bro, like, we we already set back a step, bro. Not even a step, nigga, a couple steps, feel me? Mm-hmm. So we definitely, we and can't play fair either, bro. Sometimes you got to take risks. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Right. And the generation yeah. that, well, I want to say, generation a year. I was born in 2000, man. I feel, I always say 2000 was the best year because we literally get the best of both worlds. <laughs> like, as soon as, as soon as 2000 hit, everything, when it came down to TV, Electronics, everything became new, updated. Boom, we that too, bro. For me, but I'm, but I'm saying though, people be thinking like, yo, you know nothing about the '90s and '80s. I'm such an old soul because of my parents and grandparents. It's just like, bro, you can't even tell me that I, I could have been born in the '90s. You probably wouldn't even know for real. But it's just like, so many, so many things happen once the 2000s and everything went up. Old, bro. This is always talking like they from the nineties too, bro. Like they gotta shut up, bro. I'm not pushing thirty. Two thousand, bro. We is not pushing thirty. You just a little old, bro. The fact that they even, the fact that they even give you like different names now is crazy. Like I'm a two thousand baby, and that's and that's just what it is. That's word to everything, bro. Two thousand baby rule the world, man. Two thousand enough, though. Like two thousand enough. I'm not, I'm not criticizing nobody. I was born in 0102. I feel like if you reach. You ain't get the 09. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like 03 the last, last great. You feel me? 03? Yeah. That's, that's that's three years later. I think that's a drag. Nah, three years. I gotta, I gotta give it to the. I gotta. I respect yeah, yeah, that 04. Oh, I, I respect okay. that. I give it to like at least 07. I, <laughs> I give it to at least 07. Nah, you're wild. There's certain, move, there's certain, there's certain <laughs> moves. There's certain moves. 
Nah, look at me though. There's certain, there's certain, there's certain, there's certain, there's certain, there's certain movies. There's certain. I feel like there's certain movies in the childhood, even the '90s, or just going up that you should already know. And I feel like once we get to 07... Bro, they don't, bro. They don't remember the '64, bro. Right. They don't remember that I had that shit in the crib, bro. Them 07 babies don't know nothing about that, bro. My brother, my they brother know knew about, about the 64. That. My brother was born in 09, gang. All right, because that's because you had that in the <laughs> this, crib, bro. There's, just certain, older, there's bro. just certain requirements that make you okay. If you know certain uh, movies, I, I'm going to accept you. <laughs> hey, yo, what are y'all? Yo. Oh, yeah, niggas chatting right now. <laughs> first track of Fastlane Music Talk. Uh, oh, my. Me and Rose forever locked in. Me and Rose have big impact. Talk to me about for me, DHA, DHJ, Alum, and also Rose. And what did you uh, say? The music that he's doing at um, Royal Entertainment. So, what you got something to say about that? No, I do. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> All right, so, yo, yeah, was... gang, can you pull up real quick? Just please tell me he not. Pull up real quick. <laughs> Here we go. Pull up, my fault. My fault. This I don't. I don't mean to even stretch this. This this question. Just pull up real quick, gang. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. This just gotta make D-ray it official. In the building. And I'm not even gonna lie. Gang, D. pull up to you. I'm talking to you. You know who I'm talking to. Yeah, pull up right here. Tell 4K in the building. I I wasn't. I was gonna mention him in one of the questions. Movement. But I, I knew I was gonna bring him out anyway. Um, for me, that guy has a little bit. Show show y'all faces. Show y'all faces. Not about, this is man. this is y'all see y'all see. Let me y'all see what this is. Is one two three. This is five people. That, that is Bowler Brothers. That is that's it. Who you who you see right now, is that's what it is. We not X nothing with nobody else. But the only thing I'm gonna say, like I said, Marcus Alex, shout out to the boys in AZ, and they already know what's up with that. They already know what's up. So that this this don't even apply to them. But like that's all I'm saying. That the people that you see right here, shout out to Del 4K, respectfully. Shout out to Del. And and and, and we just and we gonna leave it at that. Shout out to Del 4K, respectfully. <laughs> New edition, new. <laughs> new I'm the top gunner, but they saying that he. I'm the top gunner, but they saying. Oh, Melo said, "Stop it!" Okay, and, and we, we, we know the battle. We know the same, vibes. Drop the same day we as me. Like I, that's that. We you, drop the same day as me. We gonna work it out. Him right here. They saying that he's the he's the <sighs> one that, like that for me. But who, gang, who you see right here, Bowler <laughs> Brothers, and that Bowler Brothers, and that's it. I had the same day drop. Same day dropping. We'll see what the numbers look like. But the point is, we going. We don't this is this is game, it. and we and we and we, right we, we fight like that. And I love it. And I love it like that. But what is that? What? Drop, My drop numbers prove day. otherwise. Oh, he said. But this, we can do that though. But this is this is the fam. This is the fam. This is the gang. He's, nah, he's my nah, where the everything? Nah, nah where the everything? Bro? No, but look, Yo, look, 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 We fight no. like brothers, but this that gang. Where the everything? No, that's a where the everything. No, he know what's up. And this is. The movement. This is like watch this, out real this quick. Is, watch out real quick. This is this is the movement. You know what I mean? The five like, of us. Like and that, this is the and vibe. That's it. This is this is the essence you get off of coming over to this side. This and when you this. go look at the page, I want y'all to press more because you gotta press more, right? You gotta press more, and I want y'all to see who's in that bio. And shout out to DC Photos. We not we not gonna do that shout out. Because when you out. open the shout bio, you gonna see the people that's the DC Photos. Shout out to Kazo. You gonna see who's you gonna see who names is tagged in there. You know what I'm trying to say? And it should. Answer his question. My fault. Y'all can stay right here. Going to your question on We Don't Miss. Uh, crazy song. Crazy intro. Uh, my first, I think, song. Yeah, with a, with a beat drop. Well, no, not with a beat drop. With a beat switch. Um, super crazy. Super crazy. So I want to perform that song soon. Um, with Rose and that, that line, Rob don't like that line because that's me being like braggadocious on that you know, style of fast lane music and shout it out Rose. Then they're saying me and him like Big and Puff. Um, then my nigga who shot you. We had to get a new roster. It was then and me pumping up because at first it was the solid three of us. And then it was like we needed more. We needed a little bit more of different. We were trying to go for the girls. We were trying to go for the sound. Nah, we don't went. I'm not going to lie. To, was a I'm not going to lie. Bro, so you get what I'm trying to say. All the brothers done so, been through a lot of niggas, bro. Yeah, we... D- we done been through a lot of people, shit. bro. Shit. I hear that hot shit. We done been through a lot of people, bro. I hear that hot shit. So this is why I'm saying, like, this is this is stamp right here. The five of us is stamp. And for me, DC Photos, for me, she couldn't be here with us today. But this, this is the 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 movement. And that. But, um. Keep it like that. Yeah, he, he don't like that line. That was me just shouting out Rose. And, um, Anybody got a light up? I need to smoke. <laughs> I need to smoke. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, of course. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you said you didn't. For me, I, he didn't want to fuck up the camera. Right, you know, right, this, right. this gotta get. This gotta get. Posted, so we gotta right. make sure that the book. <laughs> not missing nobody. 
Come on now. Be outside. Shout out Never Forget Loyalty Records. Um, shout out Rose. Um, that was me and him just been collabing. Um, he is CEO of his shit. Um, me and him just trying to then they push the forefront. Then they just come out as a as the same umbrella and be on some like out the gate shit from New York City. He, you know, uh from Virginia. Shout out Virginia. Um he different in his own way. Shout out Rose. Rose is hard. I fuck with him. That's been a bro a long way. Um, that's really what that was about. But he he hate that line. But you you see how the line flourished. You see how I manifested that because it was just and now we got a stack and that, that that's what I meant. It wasn't just to like and big then, up him. It was meant for nah, us to. I, I I get that. But like I said, you with, see the, how with, it the, with the with the controversy that was going on for me, that wasn't okay. And then on top of that, oh, for oh, me, it's not like, that I don't like the guy. For me, I banged. I I. I for me, his music is tough. Right. But for me, this is something that I see longevity-wise. Mm. For me, I, I, I see whoever we stamping in now, I see these niggas in the future with me. You get what I'm trying to say? I owe my I owe my man's a Porsche. I ain't even going hot. Y'all got to watch out for those Instagram heavy reels when they be like, send it to <laughs> a friend. If you know it. anybody with this name, send it to them and they owe you a Porsche because I owe him a Porsche. <laughs> but I... I see him, me and him, I see me and him in the future, and I'm going to get him that Porsche, you know what I'm trying to say? And I ain't even going to lie for me. We going, me and my guys is going to be good. You get what I'm trying to say? So at the Word, end of the day, bro. I don't I need gotta get it. a business a business decision. That's that's the only reason why I don't, for me, business, business-wise. business like I got some saying, welcome to the 100, I'm here with. That 4K. Okay. D-Ray 5L. Okay. It is all nice, the big Nazi, but I took the middle down. <laughs> Del uh, 4K, Del Ray 5 out for me. Um, just got a few questions. Uh, with y'all being a part of the record label, being a part of the collective, why do y'all believe in the success of Bold Brothers? I believe in the success of all of them. Everybody. I want to see everybody win, honestly. That's how I see it. We all got a little chip to the table. We could bring something to the table. Let's do it. That's how I feel. Let's work. Nah, yeah. As bro say, you feel me? I just believe in the talent, you feel me? Coming from the X, like, you feel me? I just believe in my brothers, like, you feel me? Because a lot of people don't know, but the Bronx got it, like, when it comes to talent. Like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and a lot of it is a lot of it is covered because, you know, what the Bronx got going on right now is so big and drill or whatever the case may be. Like I said with the last question, I did something that I wanted to do, not what I was supposed to do. And I feel like there's a lot of a lot of people that people don't even know about that come from the ex. And I just I just feel like I feel like it's I feel like it's time to just let it be known. Like for me, there is talent here. You hear a lot you hear a lot of celebrities over here. He came from Queens. He came from this projects in Brooklyn and this, that and the third. He from You don't hear you don't be hearing so much about the ex and for me and it's just like there's all this we authentic, man. That's 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 what we always been. The Bronx always known for being authentic, bro. I mean, every borough got their own vibe, whatever case may be, but it's, it's it's the Bronx. It is it is the ex. I ain't gonna lie, and I stand on that. And for me, I got it tatted. I for me, I got New York tatted on my for me, cause I that's where I'm from. That, for me, I, that's where I'm from. That's where I'm that's where I'm from and I and I stand on that. And I've always I've always been saying that in my music. Like it's it's, it's the ex. We got we got hitters. It's, Sure. It is like I, we got hitters. I'm trying to tell no you, we, we got hitters. No, 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 no. Um, feel me, Del and uh, D Ray. Feel me. Um, I, when y'all answer, y'all both mentioned believing in the talent and also making sure that everybody wins, everybody eats, everybody feel me gets a piece of the cake, and everybody be able to flourish. How do y'all feel like? What do y'all have to do to make sure that everybody on the team that make sure that y'all win, everybody else on the team win? Um, stay consistent. Just. Keep everybody afloat and just keep pushing. That's it. Nah, definitely keep everybody focused. If you feeling down, we got to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's get back onto the motion. Let's do this. Let's work. We all got to lean on each other. I appreciate y'all. Um, we're nearing the end of the interview. I ask this in every interview. Uh, who do y'all want to see next on Dog Journey? Oh man, you know so when I'm not gonna lie, we gotta see my son bro with an Ozzy. My son here with a great shout guy. out. Oh, you gotta see him. <laughs> nah, shout yeah, out. that's the bro over there. He an artist. You feel me? Oh, Did a shit. lot of collabs. I mean, I mean, what's the way of chopping, man? What's going on? Come oh, oh, on, Oz. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, cool. I like you from the X. Of course. Oh uh, man. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, Cab, feel me, bro. When the Aussie, feel me. I'm here for everything. I got everything on lock. We taking over. I don't gotta say too much. Like what? Straight to the point. No cap. Okay. Ozzy, I got. I, I, I just got one question for you. Feel me. What should the people expect from you in 2024 and beyond? 2024. For me, real music. For me, that's it. That's all. Real music. Real music. Um, for me. Uh, last question. Anything you want to get for your chest? Uh, anybody want to shout out to the people they want to hear? For me, my son B A going crazy right now. My son, baby on wrist, my son doing his thing for me. My son, my son yeah. really doing his thing. My boy won preemie. Um, you know, uh the guys, you know, block baby, fifteen, feel me. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of good artists. <laughs> lot. I'm, I'm thinking like, cause it's it's really a lot. Man, yeah. shout out, thinking. shout out, shout out, like I said, names. shout out to my son, Gav Lavish for sure. Jabs, sure. three jobs. Um, um, shout out to my boy Showtime. Word two, that guy is that guy different. Y'all gotta y'all gotta tap in for me. Nah, shout cap. out my boy Showtime for sure for sure. And I know I know I'm missing a lot of names. I tell you that much. Fact. But shout out to my shout out to my boys that's here right now. I ain't even gonna lie. Shout out shout out to the people that's here right Shit. now. And and I'm and I'm saying that with the with the with the deepest with the deepest emotion. Shout out to the people that's here right now. Like I said, we got we got a lot of things. Coming towards y'all this year, 2024. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta execute plan for 2025. So it's like this is just this year is gonna be. We just we sending off pressure. We sending off pressure. New, new, new faces, new faces, and all of that. So like I said, and like he said, real music, real music will be pressed on y'all for the rest of the year. It's the it's the movement, like it's the it's the movement. And um, for me, last year, for me, like I said, last year. We was in, we was in, we was in, we was in, we was in my building, gang, doing, doing the interview. And now we got a gang here, and I ain't gonna lie, it looked like something different. So, you feel me? It looked like something different. We gonna, we gonna do the run around. Man, shout out to Brett and Ozzy. Shout out to my son D-Ray. Five L. Shout out to Dell 4K. Yo, shout out to Dell 4K. Pop shout out to my man's Velo and Mel. Shout out to Ty. Oh, shout out to T Y B L Double L A. Shout out to the gang. It's the Baller family. But don't don't get them out. Come out. It's the Baller family. Come out. Real quick though. Real quick though. Shout out to the Hood Journal. Shout out and shout out to the Hood Journal. Shout out to the Hood Journal. We did it. We we do we did it here first. We stamping it. This is this is their first one. First one of the year. First one of the year. And we stamping it. What? And we stamping it. We setting off the tone. Yo, you're a dancer. Chill, bro. Dancing. Oh, my God. Man. Shout out to the X. We did that. I ain't even no, gonna we lie. We definitely did that. That shit evolved. That shit evolved. Yo, that shit is a. He did. Come on. The way I be running this motherfucker, right? Come on. Yo, the boy wild out. He did. I ain't gonna lie, he wild out. I don't know. I don't know what's. I, we and gonna have it in a chokehold. Oh my god. Keep streaming fast lane music. Keep streaming the whole album. Keep streaming. We performing this in two days. Right? Two days. Watch. If this gonna be out, I hope it's out by the time. Pull up to the Who Got the City concert. You know what I'm saying? Evo y'all Lounge. Gotta, y'all gotta be there. Oh my. Y'all gotta be there. Come on, what I said? Bab, show out. Like, what I mean, the bros gonna do their thing. Like, they gonna turn it up, bro, turn it out. You know what I mean? Two four, we on the Make sure I stay on point. Always been in my cues and peace for the start. Went through this over four, no deja vu since then. I had a chrome heart. I was always destined to shine. Put it through the video, I make my mark. I do this shit on my own. Just two bars for only one stone. Locked into this new sound with V Lone before Bell. Oh my god! Oh my Don't god. Two control, your favorite rapper got caught snitching. I see rats which you can don't. Ayo. We just want it all at this point. And you can, and I ain't gonna lie. Young Marcus, shout out to them AZ boys. Shout out to them for shout out to Humble the boys, boys, man. AZ, man. Make it for pressure like breaking the banks. I've been headed on the curb. We left a new paint. Think I need a faint. The Jakari. Let me tell me this jump safari. Step in the bitch, let it go, I ain't sorry. 
I'm really so bad I kept on going. You a type of nigga make a hoe for the port and fast lane music skirt. I'm gone. Ooh. That means that means that nobody locking me. What he said? I'm middle easy. Might steal that hoe like Kiki. Yo, I just say I'm easy. Did him to the Malizzi. Oh my God, yo. Shout out to Forever Humble, man. Shout out to Forever Humble. Cop Shout out to them AZ boys. Get up. That nigga be sipping it just to me. She pissy, she missing. Think fight like a fist. Oh, and how can I forget? Y'all gotta cop up on the Red Hustler, man. Y'all gotta see yeah, what's going wait. on. Definitely get this. Definitely get cop this. Cop up on Red Hustler. Red Hustler, get that. Yo, on. yeah, yeah, yo. Cop up on shout, Red Hustler. Yo, listen. Shout out the Hood Journals. Shout out Andy, man. Shout out, shout out this whole opportunity. Shout out, bro. He been believing in me. Yeah. Believing in me, believing in the team, believing in everybody yeah. I put him on to. Um, great journalist. We going up 2024. Let's do it for Kobe. The job is not done. It's not done. And you can't stop the movement that's been moving. 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 Like, and it's never done. Oh, yeah. Try to keep up. <laughs> hey, man, boy, fuck us up. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, I see. Stay in your lane. For the freak. For the right. For the right. For the right. Come on. <laughs> And tune into the fucking music, y'all. Velo Mel, if y'all ain't, if y'all ain't hey, get it already. Shout out Velo Mel. Shout out my bull of man. You know what I mean? Love you, buddy. Come on. Yo, listen. We like twins. Yo, get in this, get in this, get in this, get in this. Break, get in this, get in this, get in this, get in this, get in this. One more time. Twins. One, one more exit, one more exit, one more exit. Twins. Yo, get in this, get in this, get in this. Listen. We like twins. This is the motherfucking movement. This is, we here. This is what we, we doing. Here. This is what we That's been doing. We here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo, yo, Mel, you gotta get some dreads, bro. Yeah. You, you missing out. Yo, move this arm, move this arm. My fault. Oh, I think so. Wait, hold on. My fault. We gotta get pressed. We gotta get pressed. Wait, hold on. We gotta get pressed. Press me, press me, press me, press me. Press me, press me. Damn.